Hi guys. Well, it is February 6th, 2012. And uh, I've been noticing something that in all these different, uh, oh, what do we call them? Teachers, lecturers, authors, uh, spiritual guides, counselors, uh, you know, there's a list, whole list of different names and categories you can call them by, but I've noticed something that I just got to say something about. It's, it, uh, I don't hear anybody else out there saying it, and uh, I just find it totally, it just rubs me wrong. So, we've heard so many different people say that we've already won, okay, the light, okay, or the path of ascension, or uh, the, the change into the new paradigms already happened. It's already done. Well, bullshit. <laughs> Come on, look outside. It's not over. We still have work to do. And if you take that stance where it's already done, I don't have I don't have to do anything. We're already a shoe in. Then then what are you going to do? You're going to sit back on your ass. Uh you're going to you know, you'll you'll play with your crystals and your beads and your your what's it's and and uh you know walk around with your head in the air and uh, uh, while they keep doing the crap that they're doing you know while, while everything keeps crumbling down around our ears well we still have work to do we can't we can't just say we're done we still have to do the work we still have to do the meditations we still have to do that projection we still have to envision our future if we don't envision our future, we're, it's not going to happen, especially the way that we would like to see it happen. We have to have that in our minds and we have to project that. If we can't, we're done. I mean, we're just, might as well get swept under the carpet because uh, you'll get run over uh, by those who do have a vision. And I guarantee you that there's so, there are some forces out there that have a vision. They have their vision and they have it pretty firmly set. What's your vision? What is your vision? I've got mine and I project it. I'm working. I'm doing what I can. So, you know, I've heard of heard some people that some people that I actually uh, know who have, uh, with this attitude that we've all, it's already done, the change has already happened, uh, with that attitude, they have let down, completely let down all their guards, or they've quit doing their work. Uh, there's, there's one in particular that uh, quit doing their cleansings or their uh, quit doing their um, clearings and and this one just absolutely baffled me I mean uh, those forces are still there you know those forces are still there and I'm not trying to st stir up fear or or create any any you know uh, Oh, I don't, well, maybe I am. Maybe I am trying to stir something up in, in people. I'm, what I want is I want people to wake up. I want you to wake up and realize that we're still here. I don't care what timeline you think things are going on or it's happening on a different timeline or a different dimension or, or our, our, our brothers from other dimensions or planets are are taking care of business or doing whatever look out your window we're still here 
So we still have to do the work. Now, I'm working on creating that future for myself and using my projection, my vision, my uh, imagination, my meditation, my clearings, all the tools at my disposal that I have learned and that have felt right for me, that have worked for me, I am using my tools to, to, to create that world for myself. And there, there's so many that are so right on spot with this where all we have to do is we have to fix us. We have to fix each and one, every one of us has to get our stuff right. We have to, we have to get what's in here straightened out. We have to bring that integrity up to the highest possible level that we can embody. And we have to live that truth within ourselves. So when, we're do, when we do that, when we bring that forward, we shine. We shine, we, 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 we project our energy in the world around us, and it's reflected in the world around us. And there have been more, you know, I'm, there's, there's more and more people every day who are asking questions, who are really, who are starting to wake up. I just, I see so many who have been, who have gone so far on the path, just get the attitude of it's all over it's all done and it's not we still have a lot to do we still have a lot to do i mean this year is this year is is it's already starting out as a very powerful year energetically there's the energy has been oh it, it, it's been absolutely amazing the I've watched. I'm, wa I'm watching. I, I've seen others bring man manifest their lives in front of them with uh, miraculous, miraculously, you know, absolutely miraculously. I've watched universe unfold for them with their vision. So I see it happening. I see it happening for myself. Uh, but I see. So, so many others that are, uh, they are that are struggling, that are having issues, that are having problems dealing with what's going on around them. And uh, when you question uh, and start talking with them, you find out that they put all those things that they did that got them moving along their path, got them the ball rolling for them on we're doing that work and really starting to contribute uh, in, a, in, a, in big ways, they, they set that aside because they thought that, that, that it was, they, they got this in their head that it's over, that it's a done deal, that there's nothing that the, the powers that be can do to thwart our plans, to uh, stop the ascension process. Well, you know, on one level that may be true, that may be very much true, but that doesn't mean that we can stop doing the work. We still have to do it. Right? That's what we're here for. We're here to shine our lights. We're, we're uh, you know, you guys. Got to excuse me. I got a little frustrated with this today, and I just had to. I I just had to say something, but. Uh, the energy the energy and the forces out there to that are at our disposal are at least for me they're becoming palatable I don't know if that's the right word they're, 
almost tangible in a sense where I can feel the the flows and the energy flows and and uh, you can feel the thread and uh, and this is new this is new in just the last couple of months this this type of energy the way I've been able to feel it and I sense this off of these people that are, the, these others that I've been talking to and interacting with. I sense that I sense the flow of the energy around people. I just it's just something I've been able, that that I've been able to do for a while. But when you see that there is such possibility and su such potential and you see opportunity in front of others you to to grow and to to really excel in what they've they've what they've voiced as their intention. Uh, watch the watch when you see that the the flow come past them and they totally are blocked off to it because they have taken on this attitude of of there's no need for it. Um, it gets frustrating. It gets very frustrating. So. So I figured I needed to say something. Now, for those of you watching this who uh, follow the the channelings, uh, I would really like to put a word of caution out there for you. especially right now uh, there is um, oh, how do I put this delicately <laughs> I don't know if there is a way to, to actually put this delicately uh, there's a lot of bullshit out there and the uh, now there's there's some there's some genuine stuff out there too but you really have to have your uh, your bullshit filters on I mean kicked in and on high and uh, just because it sounds really good and it I mean it's something that you would like to see uh, the that's that's how they suck that's what they do that's how they suck people into to becoming followers is it they they you know they they give out the all the flowery words and and the the really really tasty uh, information that everybody would love to see happen and and see come in and um, yeah they talk about things that are happening that are are really for a benefit and and while some of this you know granted some of this may be true there may be some of this that's actually happening but. I don't see the evidence, and I haven't seen the evidence. Now, I know that those who know me, uh, and uh, who've uh, at least who I've interacted with on on my uh, on the intuitive level, when I've used my. Uh, especially consciously on when I've consciously worked with my intuition for others and with others uh, they know I have I, I have a pretty good in, intuition uh, I have been working on this I've, I've worked on it for a long time and I've, I've really worked to develop it and to clean it and to clear it and to keep it keep it as pure as absolutely possible so I I just see that with all the flowery words they'll take and they'll they may give be given you know seventy five or eighty percent of truth with what they're receiving uh, but then they'll they throw in that that you know twenty twenty five percent of bullshit that's the basically the 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 hook and line you know the the bait was thrown out there with that little bit of truth. And then the, the the worm with the hook on there was tossed out there also, and you swallowed the whole thing. 
Oh, we got another one. Oh, we got another one. So, uh, <laughs> oh, geez, I don't know if I really should put that out. But anyways, I'm going to put it out. Um, so, God, use your discernment. I mean, look out at the world. Look at what you see happening. And compare it to what you're hearing from these places and from these people and from these beings. What, what are you seeing manifest on the planet and what are they saying? If, if what they're saying doesn't match, then you have to say, uh, it's not matching. There's something wrong here. So you really need to, to you can, I mean, it's great to put it in your I don't know bag and leave, keep an open mind to some of these things. But, but there's, there's a lot of it that you just, when you, when you look out at the world and, and especially if you look back at the history, look at the history of some of the things that have come through these people. And that have been flat out wrong. I mean, that's just been, eh, oh, well, where is it? What happened? You said, oh, but, oh, what? What's your excuse this time? I mean, they've always got wonderful excuses and, and circumstances changed and it's not going to happen the way that we said or, or so-and-so did this, so now it has to happen this way. Bullshit. Come on, guys. Come on. So, yeah, use your discernment. I mean, use your intelligence. We all have this thing up here we call a brain that, that really should get used. And you guys don't know how much I... <laughs> uh, I mean, I love... I, I, I love my fellow beings. I love my fellow beings. And it just it pains me to see... Um, see them stuck on the end of that line, you know, watch them going in and, and swimming towards a boat, you know, so, um, you know, it pains me to see that, so, anyways, I guess I vented enough for today, um, just use your discernment, and, uh, if anybody would like to talk to me on a a one-on-one -on -one basis. Drop me an email. I mean, I'm happy to happy to chat with anybody. Uh, you know, I could I I do do my tarot readings through the website, and uh, I'm happy to do that for anybody. And uh, if just go to the the hundredth monkey radio dot com, and on the menu there's a a thing for tarot uh, healing and astrology on the the menu bar. Uh, just go there, and all the all the details are there on how to get a hold of me if you would like to, like to go there. But, uh, anyways, guys, I guess that's it for now. Love you. Namaste. Condemnation without investigation is the height of ignorance.